Hello, this is Talia Andrews and welcome to the Asia edition of TDTV. Three historical buildings in Singapore are set to be transformed into a major new hotel and entertainment destination. Capital Theatre, Capital Building and Stanford House will be redeveloped to create the new concept which will include a five-star hotel, Covent Garden style lanes of restaurants and a high-end shopping mall. These will be linked by an underground pedestrian network to City Hall MRT Interchange Station and the Marina Centre. Travellers are becoming increasingly optimistic that the economy will not affect their plans, according to the Pacific Asia Travel Association and Visa. The company's most recent survey revealed that 52% of tourists would continue to travel as they intended, compared to just 36% in 2009. Optimism to resume travel was felt most strongly in Japan, where a third of people were more confident. In other news, renovation work has been completed at the Kowloon Shangri-La Hotel in Hong Kong. The property's 490 deluxe rooms have been decorated in beige and dark red under the vision of Andy Tate. New facilities in the room includes oversized work tables, extra large mattresses, 40-inch LCD televisions, iPods, DVD players and Wi-Fi. Meanwhile, the other resort and spa opened on Friday as the first luxury resort in Nakhonsi Tamarat. The resort consists of 28 bungalows, a Thai spa, two restaurants, retail outlets and mice facilities. The Scandinavian-style property was officially opened by Finland's ambassador to Thailand, Serpa Manpa, at the grand ceremony. And finally, an EVA Airways aircraft landed safely in Taiwan last week despite three of its tyres bursting on impact. According to Taiwan News, the runway at Taoyun Airport was closed for 12 hours following the incident and no injuries were reported. Taiwan's Aviation Safety Council has now launched an investigation and denied the punctures were caused by potholes in the runway. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching the Asia edition of TDTV. We'll see you again tomorrow.